The title of this talk is New Method US EPA 625 with Solid Phase Extraction for Challenging Wastewaters. Authors are William R. Jones, Alicia Cannon, Brian Labreck, David Gallagher, Michael Ebbotson, and Zoe Grosser. This paper describes the Horizon Technology Solid Phase Extraction process using an 8271 pass disk and carbon cartridge that is automated with the Speedex 4790 extraction system and discusses the analytical results with synthetic wastewater spiked with a large suite of semi volatile organics. Covered in this talk is a review of the limitations of liquid liquid extraction sample preparation techniques. We'll review the features and benefits of SPE and sample drying membranes. Also, we'll show an animation of the SP procedure for 625-8270. We'll also review the SP methods used in the mini round robin study, and finally discuss the preliminary results from that study. EPA method 625 is used to determine acidic, basic, and neutral semi-volatile organic compounds in municipal and industrial wastewater using GCMS. It's a broad range of compounds including polyaromatic hydrocarbons, phthalate esters, halo ethers, ketones, quinolins, aromatic nitro compounds, and phenols. A total of 364 compounds are listed in this particular method. EPA method 625 is a prescriptive method, meaning that any variance from the method, such as using an alternative sample preparation technique like SPE, requires the laboratory to apply to the EPA for an alternate test procedure, ATP. EPA method 8270D for semi-volatile organic analysis by GCMS using the EPA SP method 3535A is often used for ATP purposes. Both methods fall under the solid waste SW846 umbrella for analytical methods. Last year, the Independent Laboratories Institute, ILI, a nonprofit work group within ACIL, met with representatives from the US EPA to develop a plan to collect SP data from wastewater samples to better understand how performance using SP compares to the liquid liquid extraction techniques employed at this time. Continuous liquid liquid extraction consumes 300 to 500 milliliters of extraction solvent and requires a double extraction, once with the sample adjusted to pH 2 and a second extraction with the same sample adjusted to pH 11. Each pH adjustment step requires 18 to 24 hours. This means that the sample preparation time can take from 1.5 to 2 days. Liquid liquid extraction is a manually intensive sample preparation technique. Like CLLE, the sample is extracted into a large volume of organic solvent, 360 milliliters, and the extraction procedure is performed twice under alkaline and acidic conditions. This technique is prone to emulsions from all of the shaking of the aqueous and organic solvent mixture and takes nearly four hours from start to finish. Shown on the left is the Speedex 4790 disc cartridge extractor and on the right is the DryVap system. The DryVap system combines membrane sample extract drying and extract concentration down to a one milliliter volume automatically. The Speedex 4790 processes one sample at a time and can be ganged in groups of up to eight. The DryVap system can handle from one to six samples independently or in batch mode. The Atlantic 8270 One Pass Disc, shown at the top, is a 47 mm multimodal media disc. It contains proprietary HLB, hydrophilic lipophilic balanced resin, plus ion exchange sites for organic bases. The sample is acidified to pH 2, and the sample is passed through the disc only once out to waste. No basification is done to the sample as the ion exchange sites capture the organic bases in their ionic form. This saves time and eliminates metal hydroxide precipitation, which can slow the sample flow through the disc. The 8270 carbon cartridge is placed on the effluent side of the disc. The carbon cartridge recovers poorly retained light end organics like NDMA, benzyl alcohol, and methyl methane sulfonate. The dry disc separation membrane efficiently removes water from the extract, has unlimited capacity for water removal, and eliminates sodium sulfate drying. This is a demonstration of the 8270 one pass solid phase extraction process. A one liter bottle is filled with sedimentary water and adjusted to pH 2. 108 compounds plus 6 surrogates are spiked into the water at 50 microgram concentrations. 
The red dots represent acids, blue dots represent bases, neutrals are shown as black dots, and light end compounds by bright green. An Atlantic 8270 one pass disc is placed into the disc holder. The disc is conditioned with acetone followed by reagent grade water. An 8270 carbon cartridge is placed downstream of the disc. The cartridge is positioned in reverse to take advantage of a back flush mode. The back flush mode permits efficient elution of captured compounds on the cartridge without having them pass through the entire pack bit. The bottle is now positioned over the disc and the sample is passed through both the disc and the carbon cartridge in one pass. The sediment from the sample is caught on the built-in filter of the Atlantic disc. Acids and neutrals are eluded off the disc using acetone followed by methylene chloride and are collected in flask 1. The light end organics caught in the carbon cartridge are eluded with acetone followed by methylene chloride and are again collected in flask 1. The organic bases still remaining on the disc are eluded off into flask 2 using 1% ammonium hydroxide followed by methylene chloride. The second flask is necessary to keep basic compounds from back extracting into the acidified extract in flask 1. The two flasks of extracts are combined into one extract while drying with the dry disc membrane. The residual water is discarded from the first extract before the second extract is added. The combined extracts are concentrated down to 1 milliliter using the automatic concentration system of the drive app system. The extract with internal standards is transferred to a GC vial for analysis. Here is the recovery chart from the demonstration sample. The compounds are shown by order of elution off the GC. The acids and neutrals are depicted by the red bars. The compounds captured by the carbon cartridge are shown in black, while the blue bars are the organic bases. Overall, recoveries are excellent. Uh, light ends are captured exceedingly well compared to liquid-liquid extraction, including the phenols. In the mini round robin study conducted by the ILI, a standard wastewater matrix was selected for the participants to analyze. In this case, it was the substitute wastewater matrix from ASTM, consisting of flour, ocean salts, kaolin, Tridenex 100, and beer. The bottle pictured to the right is what the matrix looked like. A one liter sample was extracted using a fast flow sediment disc holder, now called Easy Flow Disc Holder. It provides six times more filtering surface for the 47 millimeter disc and uses 100 millimeter pre filters, both 1 and 5 micron filters combined. This aids in passing 1,000 milliliters through the disc quickly. The extraction volume is 200 milliliters and the time to extract dry and concentrate the sample is three hours. In addition to method one, a second method was performed in parallel. Here a 100 milliliter sample was extracted with the 47 millimeter disc using our standard disc holder. To keep mass loading on the GC equivalent to one liter sample, 
the injection mode on the GC was splitless. The benefit of lower sample volumes was a smaller extraction volume of 80 milliliters of solvent, and the processing time to extract, dry, and concentrate was 1.5 hours. Shown are the recoveries for bases and neutrals in reagent grade water spiked with a test mix. The 100 milliliter and 1 liter sample recoveries are shown side by side, and a slight edge on recoveries were, was obtained with the 100 milliliter sample volume. Shown are the recoveries for bases and neutrals in synthetic wastewater spiked with a test mix. The 100 milliliter and 1 liter sample recoveries are shown side by side. Again, a slight edge on recoveries were obtained with the 100 milliliter sample volume. The recoveries for reagent water and synthetic wastewater were very similar, no indications of matrix interferences. Shown are the recoveries for acids in the reagent water spike with the test mix. The 100 milliliter and 1 liter sample recoveries are shown side by side. Again, good recoveries are shown. Shown are the recoveries for acids in the synthetic wastewater spike with the test mix. The 100 milliliter and 1 liter sample recoveries are shown side by side. Here we find benzoic acid recoveries to be high. Benzoic acid recoveries are GCMS dependent and generally not a reflection of the SP process. To best analyze these acids, is through esterification of these compounds prior to analysis. Shown are the recoveries for pesticides in rage and gray water spiked with the test mix. Pesticides in the test mix were about an order of magnitude lower than the other acid neutral and basic SVOCs. Recoveries for these compounds were quite good. Shown are the recoveries for pesticides in synthetic wastewater spiked with the test mix. The 100 milliliter and 1 liter sample recoveries are shown side by side with a slight edge in recoveries found for the 100 milliliter sample method. In conclusion, the SPE results were comparable, if not better, to liquid-liquid extraction methods. Recoveries were found to be well within the acceptance parameters of method 625. The lower volume method has shown to have a slight edge over the traditional 1 liter volumes, which is advantageous for smaller extraction volumes and faster processing times. These same horizon test methods were performed by four independent laboratories. The results from these labs will be discussed in future presentations as the data becomes available.